What is going on guys, it's Kevin Reeves here and today we're back and today Well first off, it's beautiful out. It is what's today? 23rd and it is 53 degrees out Which is crazy for December. Well not too crazy for where I live, but For me pretty crazy because it feels great out. I'm in shorts and everything But uh, yeah, as you see we got the uh, KLX out. I was just doing something the front brake was seized up It was all rusted at the bottom and I can't, I can't show it, it's all tight up, it's all tight, but uh, I took it all apart, uh, put grease through it and everything, and now, back to normal, beautiful, all working, all better, good as new, and uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, I was thinking, I haven't made a video in like two months basically, which is uh, really, really bad, so I decided I could either, either make a video on this, or ride around on this. I think I'm going to ride around on the KLX and then for another video I'm going to go to the trails with that. But I'm not going to go today because I don't know. I just don't want to go there and uh, no one's around to ride with me. Because usually my friend will take the KLX and I'll take the 150. But there will be another video coming up. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to ride the KLX around. You know, strap the GoPro to my helmet and, uh, you know, practice my wheelies and whatnot. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so let's get into the video. Let's first take this down here. See if it starts up, because I haven't even started up. Turn the gas on. I mean, come on, man. Look at this. I'm holding the pipe. Holding the whole pipe. Keep touching it. Ain't that just beautiful? Alright, brake is adjusted. Beautiful. guys so it is Christmas uh, yeah the, um, obviously the last clip I filmed was a couple days ago it's the 25th and uh, I'm gonna go over a couple of things I got for the KLX and um, cuz I asked for it I already knew I was getting it. I just you now I asked for it and yeah I'm gonna be putting them on I think I could make this riding video into like a little KLX 10 build I don't know whatever you want to call it but I got the black side panels because I didn't like the white ones, so I want to make it the green shrouds, the green front fender, and then all black. So black, 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 and then green, 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 and I'm going to get a green number plate. So it's kind of just a green and black. I don't like the white with the black. It looks cool, but I think it'll look better just green and black. And um, I got, as you see here, got the BBR tall seat for the KLX. 
I got a new chain guide for the 150 because this one is all garbage and crap and it's like falling apart and everything so I got a red one I think that'll look a little bit better than just plain black I got some a Honda key tag can't really see it but a Honda key tag for the key for the 150 because it's just the key and I don't want to lose it and you know look cool and then I got one for the quad because on the quad it's just like this orange band and then I also got something right there but uh give me a minute I'll open that up and show you guys what it is oh boy It is the Pit Posse motorcycle lift stand. So you would just look at it, eh? I think I have to put it together. I mean, I, I actually know. It should be, yeah, it should all be assembled. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at it. I can lift it right out of the box. But, um, yeah, I may just have to add hydraulic fluid. I have no clue, but, uh, let me just get it out of the box first and then I'll show you guys. Alright, so here's the stand. I just have to connect the pedal to obviously lift it up. And then, uh, the little pegs, the little pieces that I guess connect in here somewhere. So, they, uh, these hooks go over your foot pegs and it, you tighten it down so it holds the bike so when it's up high it doesn't fall off. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna set this off, set this up off camera because I'm sure you guys really don't care. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys when it's all done. Just like that, it is all done. I got all these connected, the little things to hold the pegs. Uh, I got this bar through, which holds in, so if it starts sliding, it doesn't drop, and whatever. And then the panel works great. I didn't take the plastic off, though. But I do have these extra two little, like, chain links. I have no clue what they go, or where they go to, so... If something breaks, then I guess that's what they'll go through. I'll figure it out later, but if you do have this, and you know what these go to, please tell me in the comments below. I greatly appreciate it. Other than that, I'm just gonna put the bike on it, and, uh... Yeah, lift it up, see how well it... Lift it up and stuff, I guess. Got the KLX on there. And then you just put these. Oh, hit the camera. <laughs> now, I did not get the foot pegs yet. They have not come in the mail yet from Amazon. Because Amazon said arriving late. So they were supposed to be here like yesterday, but uh, they did not come. So put this like that. And then tighten it. Which, obviously, this. These pegs are so low, the KLX is so low, so it's going to be a little bit of tightening. But I'm, I'm just going to tighten it beforehand all the way up here, so then when I usually put it on, I just put it on right away and tighten it only a little bit. But this time I have to go all the way up here to tighten it, so I'm obviously not going to afford that. We got, alright, we got both pegs strapped in, nice and tight, not going anywhere. And then we just start pedaling as it goes up. Oh thing kind of moves all, all over so have to tighten it and that goes goes high high jeez <laughs> this may be the best investment I've made yet for my bikes look at this thing this thing's taller than me and then when it gets to that point or whatever point you want it all these holes stick it through you don't have to obviously put the cotter pin in, but, you know, or whatever. I'll, I'll put it in for now, but put the pin in, so if it starts falling, it doesn't fall away. Look at that. This is comparison. I'm just, like, a couple inches tall, and I'm, like, 5'6", or 5'7", whatever, but other than that, perfect height to work on my bike, or obviously anything. Um, and, yeah, so now I'm actually going to put the seat on, the plastics, and everything. And this will be much easier than me bending down and hurting my back all the time. <laughs> So we got the plastics first. You got the, I don't even know how you say that, etcher bird? Or sever. someone said it, it was like a chair or something, like etcher. You pronounce it like that, but I, I don't know. I, I don't care, but I'm going to put these on first. I'm not going to record the process. I'll just show you when it's all done because I'm sure this video is already long. I don't want to make it any longer. And, uh, yeah, so you'll see it when it's all done. Out with the old, in with the new. Tall seat and black plastics. Let's throw it on. And Boom. Just like that, I got the plastics on, the seat, I think it looks great, um, I think I'm going to leave it like this for now, and then I'll put the green plastics on later maybe, but now I need, I'm going to order the, um, black number plate and black it all out for now, and, uh, yeah, then I'll get, like, green little accents, like, I already have the green grips, the green donuts, I have green, um, caps on the valves, uh, I'll get a green gas cap, 
you know, just green, like green oil cap, I don't know, just a little cool stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna ride around real quick, see how it feels. Alright, we got the key for the 150, with the key tag, the Honda key tag. And we got the Raptor, with the key tag that also matches it. Boom. I like it. I think it looks great. <laughs> so we got that. And yeah, the Raptor used to be, I have this orange thing, and obviously, got a nice key tag for it. And then the Honda. This one's annoying to get to, because the lines are in the way, but... There we go. There's a the Honda. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, and lastly, we got the chain guide to install because this one, as I showed you, is like, see it broke right there. It doesn't even go under here where it should be. And it's, you know, look at this. I could probably pull it out right now. Maybe not, but yeah. Oh, yeah, it's garbage, so I'm also not going to record this part because, again, it's boring and it's going to be hard to record with my fingers getting like this and all the angles I have to get because this, I'm not taking the chain off for this one. But, uh, yeah, so, I'll show you when it's done. Alrighty, <clears throat> well, I got it on. Got the little bottom piece, which is the old one. And then, got the top. And this was the old one for that. It was half of it. Half of it, just, you know, the sole just broke off. So, and it's red, so I think it looks a little cooler. And, uh, yeah. And just like that, the bikes are away. I did the chain guide on the 150, the seat, and the plastics on the KLX. And, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap this video up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a big like and subscribe if you have not already. Um, leave any questions you have in the comments below if you have any questions about the Pit Posse uh, scissor lift bike stand or, I don't know, the seat. It doesn't matter. Whatever you need, if you have any questions, comment down below. I will uh, answer all of them. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, if you have any more uh, suggestions for video ideas or you want me to make uh, more riding videos, um, I know somebody already wanted me to make a video on the 150, so I'm going to do that soon. I just need to get a new front tire because I slide out like crazy because the front tire is literally bald. But, uh, yeah, so Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, it may still be Christmas when this is up. This may be going up Christmas night, but then again, holy voice crack. <laughs> then again, if you're seeing this, it's probably not Christmas. But, um... Yeah, so uh, I guess I will see you guys in the next riding video, or whatever video I post. And uh, yeah, peace out. Sorry if this video was long and you didn't want to watch the whole thing, but yeah, peace out. <laughs>